Yesterday on the media, it was wall to wall with the idea of conscription. If everything was going to kick off, the bloom was going to go up, then members of the public would be drafted into the British Armed Forces. I mean, let's face it, it's been cut beyond belief. And historically, this always happens before something big cooks off. You look at, you know, the period before the Second World War, for example. Now, I did a video yesterday. And I'll show you the thumbnail for that. I won't fight for them. And I told you my feelings on it. I will put a link uh, as an end screen at the end of this video uh, so you can go and see what I had to say. And a lot of you made some very interesting comments. A lot of you actually come across saying the same thing. And I wanted to go through some of those comments to give people an idea and a feel of what's going on in your own minds. So here we go. Now, the first one. Uh, Gene, hey, not sign up all the military age men that are invading our country. Why should our sons, grandsons, etc., fight to keep a country that doesn't appear to be ours anymore? I have heard that said. Uh, Robert Scott, Budapest Memorandum, says it is our fight. That's, well. Uh, Edward Kelly. People are turning against the fake crises that are uh, actually invented. So they'll start a war instead. Uh, ADHD, 4274. I wonder how long the prison sentence will be for not complying. Well, they had conscientious objectors going to prison in the past, didn't they? Uh, particularly uh, Muhammad Ali, Vietnam. That was a very famous example of a conscientious objector. Uh, Stephen, hello, Andy. Good video, very moving. I read all the comments left on your channel by your followers. Deep down, all true Brits must feel so betrayed by people who do not wish as well. The British people fought two wars, the last apart, many, many, many brave lives lost. We only paid off our war debt in 2012, $2 trillion. Did Europe give us anything? No. Who made the money? America. Who wants it? America. Why? Makes more money. Competition makes more money. <clears throat> this country is not run by British people. Uh, we've been invaded in our government, invaded on our shores, and they keep coming. Arrested for waving a flag and protecting our monuments to those who gave their lives to save this nation. And then they say, put yourselves in harm, harm's way. It must need a lobotomy. Many people feel like that. I think that's the general feeling across the board. Okay, the next one. Fred, I just had a thought. If we bring in compulsory conscription, I wonder how quickly the um, immigration figures are going to reverse. Might be the answer. Maybe. Uh, user, spot on, mate. I'd fight for them and not for my so-called so country. Uh, Sally Cushing, I think the video got to her. You can see the emotions there. Ron Chapman, I served 36 years for my country. I signed to defend against all enemies for mine and your right for freedom and the right of free speech. Do you think for one minute our enemies would worry about our attitude to fight or not? Too long has a nation grown soft due to head burying in the sand, thinking if I had nice things, no one will attack or take notice. I'm the last person who would advocate war, but as one famous person once said, better to die on your feet than live on your knees. It's a very powerful phrase. I know exactly where that comes from. David, Russia is not my enemy, but the UK government may be, and I'm willing to take up arms for that. Jim O'Connor, the youngsters should tell them it's against their human rights to be called up. And it works for the people coming. Yeah, I think that was in the news as well. Julie Willis, I'll never defend this country. I'd rather join them. Warren Stanford, I have to be just like Sweden with applying equality to everybody. Uh, Ninja, you've got to have a country worth fighting for first. 
War is not the default option for any conflict. Negotiation is. Biden and NATO have stoked the war. If they spend more time negotiating as they do supplying arms, we may have had peace sooner. Smitty, the world leaders think it's just a game of chess, but it's all our lives at stake, not theirs. Absolutely. RVP589 laughs. Could not even stop an invasion of people in dinghies. Uh, Putin must be laughing his head off, allowing enemies to demigrate, uh, desecrate remembrance when men lost their lives fighting for our freedoms, only to be given away by politicians. You want to ask us to bear arms? What for? To save this woke-filled, uh, them-loving country? I don't think so. I mean, you, you see the, you see the attitudes of everybody here. It, it, they got a bloody cheek, basically, haven't they? But we were on the same side as uh, Russia in the war. It's the EU and NATO that have fueled this, and we should most certainly keep right out of it. I'm too old to fight a war, but feel that we are already subject to an invasion of sorts. Remember, we will fight them on the beaches, but we we're welcoming them, welcoming them. We need a totally different political setup. The present one is determined to destroy our country any way it can. Uh, Carol, <laughs> very simple. They can do one. No chance. Heaven's Gremlin, apparently I'm losing the plot. Let's have a look at this. You seem to be losing the plot. Of course, no one wants a war. The problem is, uh, like Adolf, Putin is a ruthless, evil despot. Just look at Georgia, South Ossetia, Crimea, and, of course, the current situation, not to mention how he treats his own people, especially the minorities. Is NATO going to invade? Of course not. Is NATO going to move into Ukraine? No. However, if Putin wins, then he will be embodied, as well as having more resources, more cannon fodder. And when he has recovered, he will move off again all over the place. has to be ready to defend itself, which includes you, your wife and your kids. The best defence is always deterrence. Pretty simple, really. Well, apart from me losing the plot, I can't argue with the end of that. Uh, Brian, Benefit, uh, Brian Bennett, we have a fight in this country at the moment with the religion of peace. We're in more danger from them than overseas. Derek, as happened before World War II, as soon as there was any sign of UK heading to war, many of the rich and all those with dual nationality and their families would leg it like rats deserting a sinking ship. Plenty of MPs of dual nationality. A prime example was Boris Johnson, who was US nationality too, having been born there. Wonder if Rishi has Indian nationality. I do wonder. I mean, his parents came over here, didn't they, when he was, uh, well, before he was born. Uh, Michael Wynn, good luck with getting Gen Z to join up. They're either lazy or something's wrong with them. Lyndon Daly, trust me, no man is ever too old to fight. Young men won't last long in a battlefield nowadays. Then it would be the old guy, guy's turn. How old is too old? Brian Bennett, we've already got a ready-made army in nice hotels. I'm sure they will serve the country well. There is a theory that that's the whole idea. Whether that's true or not, I don't know. Peter Crawford, why should our kids fight for Britain when the immigrants should be sent to fight if they want to live here? Again, there is that theory. Laser 5582, yet more doom and gloom to make us all feel more anxious and depressed. Yeah. Gypsy, not a chance. Are they getting my son to fight? Not his fault that stupid old men can't agree on anything. Yeah, absolutely. Uh, Katrina Lumley, Andy, they're just trying to frighten people. People are easy to control when in fear. Apparently, Sunak has said it's not happening. What a hero. Not. This is the thing, isn't it? I, I totally agree with you, Katrina. Totally and utterly agree with you. It's all project fear. They're trying to keep us in place. But at the end of the day, I have to address it because it was there. I have to say something because it was there. Like anybody else does. Well, that's that. That's a few of your comments. You can see pretty much 
a very similar uh, train of thought across the whole thing. Now, if you want to watch the original video that caused all this, there it is there. And as always, I look forward to talking to you again soon. Doodaloo.